back, back, back in Daddy's kitchen. Hello today, Daddy. Hi. How are you? I'm great, wonderful. You're looking wonderful in that Thank tan you. slash orange tan e type colored shirt. Sure. <laughs> today we are in the kitchen with Daddy and with Brother Marky Marky Mark. Yes, sir. Okay, so today, Daddy, you know, we're going to keep this one a little more, sn well, we'll try at least, but go right ahead. Without further ado, tell the people then where we are cooked today. Kalalu and Sawfish. Mm. Kalalu and Sawfish. Oh, no, finally Whoa. get to no Kalalu. You guys have been asking for Kalalu for so long, but we couldn't get it. What is, what is it, Mommy? Not in season? Wasn't in season? At the moment, Nices. Okay. She said she wants a Nices. Yeah. Nices, nice it up. Nices, nice it up. Big up Nices in the building. All of our <laughs> All right. Straight from Jamaica, and that's the great thing about yeah. Nicey's too, is that you can get stuff that are straight from Jamaica. And we didn't want to give you guys a Kalaloo that was like chop up in a bag or something. We wanted no. that authentic thing. So we yes. waited. It's almost been what? Almost a year since we've been this channel. We waited the whole time so that we could get it in season. Not true. Yeah, man. All right, so let's do it. So, Daddy, how is the process? This is the Kalaloo. People who do that know Kalaloo. This is Kalaloo. This is Kalaloo. Okay. It looks like tree to me. It's a tree. Okay. It's vegetable. It's very good. Okay. Very good. It's like spinach. Okay. Yeah. Spinach are more smaller. Okay. So, Kalalu, I'm going to show you how to clean it, how to cut it up, wash it. Okay. Okay. So, All this right. big stock here. If you have so, that's how it comes. Colors. When you yeah. go there, that's yeah. how it comes. Full yeah. like that. Okay. Like that. So okay. You, you want to cut this off. Cut off the end. How do you know how much of okay. the end to cut off? It's hard. Some of them is very hard. Some is soft. very soft. Okay. So you got to feel it. And you, you want to cut off it, yeah. all the hard part. Okay. Yeah. And then you strip it. You got to strip it. Okay. Like Do that. slow more, Daddy. Slow more. Okay. 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 Let's see if we can focus a little bit. This part is good, so you just leave it there. Okay. Strip here, right down. You guys see that? And try to take off the bad leaves. Okay. Like this one here. So that's a bad leaf. That's, that's considered a bad leaf. A bad leaf. Yeah. So you just take it out. And um, and what? Where'd you put it? I put it in the sink. Yeah, but you put a good one in the sink too. So how are you gonna know the difference? Oh yeah, because it's just a leaf. You remember this one is on stock? I know them. Okay. This is a bad leaf. Okay. All right. Okay. I would have put the bad leaves in, on the other side so I knew what was. But you know, that's me. That's me. That's me. And this one. Which one? Let's see. Bad leaf? Yes. Okay. Because it's like brownish. Yes. Yeah, so this is clean. So you put it aside. Okay. You go on to the other one. This one, same. Hard. Yeah. So just cut it off. Cut it off. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Take off the bad leaves. Mm -hmm. She's not that bad. It's okay. Okay. So you see this? This is the seed of the kernel. Let's see. This. Let's get a close up of that seed of the kernel. So you want to just cut this out. Okay. It's come from the top. From the center top. Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay. So you get rid of that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And obviously you guys need to make sure that you wash your sink before you make food in your sink, okay? Make sure your stuff is clean, no eggs and stuff from the morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. So you just strip it clean, clean this stuff, just like that, strip it. So and are you stripping every single part of this on, on right the stem? Up, right up. Okay. Right up to here. Just right up yeah. to the leaves, okay. Okay. Interesting. Yes. This one you can do also. Okay. And you just continue to strip yeah. from where you cut. I know our vegetarians are feeling great right now. And our vegans are feeling great right now. And our plant-based honeys are feeling great right now. Um, he's definitely going to ruin it for you guys when it comes to the fish. But 
everything up until that point. You can cook it without the fish. Of course. Then you put tomatoes, red peppers, scallion, onions. Pretty much everything that you're about to yeah, show them, you can, can do. Yeah, you can put even okra in it. Mm -hmm. Cut up the okra and put it in it. Okay. Okay? So let me clean up my sink now with those bad ones. And you're gonna wash it. Wash your color with salt. Okay. Okay, because sometimes you get it and insect is on it. And you want to make sure yeah. that you get rid of those insects and no little buggy I, bugs. I have some in the bowl that I, I clean and wash already. Okay. So I just leave these back to just to show you how it prepared. Okay, all right. right. So let's move on to the washing. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle some salt on it. And you wash your color with cold water. Okay. Not hot water, cold water. So no hot water for your color or it's gonna wilt up. But you put some salt. So what this do, this, if any insect is on it, we just kill the insect and you wash it out. Okay. And sometimes they spray these colors with chemicals. So you want to make sure you wash it. And get rid of them chemicals. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. Now we're going to cut the color so now this is the time where we get to know how to make it. Put your, put your color together just like that. Okay. And then you chop. You don't want it too thick. with this visual right now with the Denny's Kitchen cutting board. Yeah, A lot of people in the last video are asking for, for spices and merchandise, Daddy. Yes, that's great. I'm trying to let them know that, you know, it's a process, but we're yeah. working on it. Definitely for sure this Every year you guys are going to get your hands on some Denny's Kitchen products. Still in the Every meeting. Everything takes time, okay, mm -hmm. people? Still Don't be meeting. patient. Be patient with us. Still not a meeting. Yeah, man. DJ Khaled. See that? Just like that. Just like that, guys. Look on your Kalaloo already. Look like you can't eat already. Mark is a Kalaloo fan. These things are good for you. Better than meat. Way better than me, but we would you, you would never know based off of our channel. So we love eat meat. <laughs> we grow people meat. We need more vegetarian meals. But people are are telling me on Instagram. The people are telling me on YouTube, Daddy. We got to give the people what they want. Mm -hmm. Enough people are turn a new leaf. I try slim down. They're gonna get it. They're gonna get it. Take okay. time. All it's right. okay. Nothing done before the time. Mm -hmm. These are purpose. True. True. You guys, hopefully you guys are seeing exactly how this is done. Seems pretty simple. Yeah. I mean, your chopping skills are elite, but... Yes. If you know to use a knife, that's fine. Not everybody knows to use a knife, you know. I know. And you still all the people that are sharpening a knife sharpening episode. <laughs> yeah, man. That's coming up too. obviously a technique here, a tucking technique with your fingers. Your fingers have to be tucked. Yeah, when you cut it and you move, you move your fingers at the same time. Move them back, 
Back Okay. Trying to give a little close up on that so they can learn. Someone in the comments said that I should stop being mean to you, Mark, inside the um uh You being mean to Mark? I was okay. like, what is I was so confused. Okay, it's um, not a but I mean I was like um I wasn't being mean. This is how we show love, okay? But I also feel like a lot of people don't, they have different mannerisms yeah. and stuff. So, oh, so like, <laughs> you know, it's all love in here. Okay. If we were beefing, we would not be filming this video together. Okay. Not right now. You wait. <laughs> that's what I really love. Yeah. Don't fake love. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I can't fake. I'm, we can't fake don't the fake way love. that we are for YouTube. We can't do it. This is how we this is how we roll. YouTube, I know YouTube. Keep it 100. Real Keep love. it 100. And it's all love. So just in I case know. you're ever wondering if it's not love, it's all love. It and, really is. And not just love for your family. The world. Mm -hmm. The world. Mm -hmm. Love. Mm -hmm. And don't matter who wants to hate you, you still love them. Because mm -hmm. that's coming from the heart. Mm -hmm. Real love coming from the heart. Kill them kindness. Kill them. Well, you don't want to tell them, but you know, you get the draw, the, the, what? You get yes. the, 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 <laughs> At this point, I think they know exactly how to chop up this. So you fold it, then Yeah, here. you can fold it. Okay. Much easier for you. Oh, smart. Kind of like a cabbage roll. Yeah. You just cut. Then you just move cut. your fingers backward. As move the knife come closer, guys. as the knife come closer, you move your fingers. Now you don't want to cut it off. Okay. Oh, <gasps> daddy man, come on. <laughs> Oh, my. Oh, the camera jump out So that's it, people. That is your chopped up kalaloo. Yes. And over here, I have the saltfish. I soak it one day ahead. Okay. Day before. Mm -hmm. And I just boil it. Let it come to a boil. Okay. And that's it. All right. Because I do this just to get out all the salt out of the saltfish. Okay. So okay. now, what you gotta do? Pour Swing it off. It off. Yeah. Just now, like that. I'm gonna run some cold water. It's easier for me to hold and break down. So the cold water just cut the heat. So that you don't burn up yourself when you breaking. Don't burn up yourself. Okay. I turn on my stove. And I use virgin olive oil. Virgin olive oil. Into the pot. About three tablespoons. Okay. And what is the heat level on? High. High. High, 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 high. And these are my ingredients. We're gonna go into the kalalu. Okay. Red bell pepper, yellow pepper, garlic, red onions, thyme, tomatoes, scallion, and the hot chili pepper. Hot, hot chili pepper or scotch bonnet? Scotch bonnet pepper. Why, yeah, why, why how chili could you ever put chili pepper in a mikala? Come on, oh, come God. on. No chili pepper. That is a, a enough. scotch bonnet pepper. Sin. Sorry, people. Scotch bonnet, okay, guys? From Nicey's to big up with friend them at Nicey's. Nicey's Brampton, right, mommy? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna put my garlic first. Garlic in the pot. Yes. Get out some of that nice aroma. And if you guys go to Nicey's, tell them who sent you, eh? 
Make sure you let them know that is kitchen that is sent kitchen. you. <laughs> They're our friends. Okay. See my my um, garlic start to get a little bit brown. Yeah. Okay. You don't need it more than that. Don't let it burn. Okay. So you're putting everything in. Right now. Oh, guys, the smell. Smell it? Yeah. Oh. As soon as it hits the pot. Look how pretty. Look how pretty that is. Look at how pretty that is. With my kaloo right okay, now. Okay, so then you just take the kaloo and Put it right in. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Just straight into the pot just like that, eh? Mm -hmm. Kalaloo is cooking, people. This color, this color is gonna shrink. Okay. Yep. Just like cabbage, just like spinach. Okay, I'm gonna put in my sausage. I'm gonna put in my saltfish right now. Okay. So just like cabbage, it shrinks. Yeah. So for your saltfish now. And just break it up a little. Break and it up a little bit? Yeah, not too fine. Because you want a good sized chunks in there. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. That. Pour it in. Stir it up. Stir it up. Remember, you don't want to put too much salt in your color because remember you have the salt fish in it. Okay. Yeah. There will be a little saltness in it in your salt fish. Okay. So you can taste and see how much salt you want. Okay. In your color. So yeah, I'd probably taste before you kill it with salt because yeah, yeah. it's salty it already. Is. Yeah, I feel you. I you feel know, you. These are all the seasoning I'm gonna put in. Okay. Yeah. Herbs and spice. Uh, Her spice and herbs. Spice and herbs to start. I will say half teaspoon each. Half teaspoon each. Your Flavor favorite. Rice. It's gonna be a spoonful, a tablespoonful. A tablespoon. It seems to me like flavor rice is the only one you always do tablespoon time. Mm -hmm. You can buy it. <laughs> you buy in good. <laughs> <laughs> Onion powder. Onion powder. Okay. We're done. Yeah. Okay. Next, black pepper. A little black pepper. Half teaspoon. Half teaspoon. Yeah, remember, you have scotch bonnet in here. Okay. All the spice. All of the spice, then. I'm not going to put no seasoning salt in it yet. Okay. Garlic powder. And garlic powder. All of our Okay. And then it's stirring. It's gonna need a little bit of water. Here's nothing here. Okay. Dry. Okay. Not too much. So some boiling water. Add About just a four, little. Four tablespoon. Okay. Water. To help it kind of steam more. Yes. So when you come right now. Good. Okay. This is gonna take 10 to 15 minutes and it's done. Okay. Coverage. See what. Okay. <laughs> 
Don't mind that. I don't mind that. So you covered it. Then I was just like, you covered it, and then you just went off into your own land. <laughs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you cover it and what, so how long do you think? 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. Hey, yes, you can put a little butter in it. Okay. Real, real butter. Real butter. No fiat butter, you yeah? know? Okay. Let's see how you're going to do this. Let's cut it up, man. Let's cut a piece of butter. Put it over there, chunk it. It's not that enjoy the game, man. Okay. Yes, it's give you flavor in the pot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that. You hear that already? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna turn it down to medium. Okay. Down to medium, you guys. Yeah. Let him simmer. Let him simmer. Where is my bima? <laughs> Lord of mercy. I'm talking about bima, me no joy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Never drive. Yup. That's okay. You can still like good. the bima. It's all good. I'm still living. Yup. Thank God for that. Yeah. You know what you should really thank God for? Your two foot to carry you all this time. <laughs> yup. Now we don't do two foot you can't carry. Mm-hmm. You have your special car for that. Mm-hmm. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Mm-hmm. I have a breakthrough that I... Rose in the oven. Breadfruit, another breadfruit. You know what? A lot of people were talking about the breadfruit in the last um, brown stew steam, the King brown fish. stew kingfish yeah. video. Uh, everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, the, I never, I haven't had a piece of breadfruit in so long, <laughs> and to roast it inside the oven." Da, da, da. So, uh oh, whoa, whoa. So that is a breadfruit that then he roasted inside the oven. Yes. And now we're going to fry it. Peel it and then fry it, right, Daddy? Yes, I'm gonna peel it and then fry it. So the last one we had in the other video wasn't um It wasn't fried. Wasn't just, yeah, it wasn't fried. It was yes. just cut it was just roasted and yeah. then cut up, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'm peeling this. Literally looks like bread. Yeah, that's why they call it bread fruit. Like that's so interesting to me. Yeah, it's so oh great. My this father grows, is this grows on a tree, you guys. Yes. For anyone who doesn't know, and I probably sound crazy right now, like, can, it grows on a tree. You can do a lot of things with this. Bread but does fruit, that not look like crust that he's cutting off of like bread? Just the skin. But it's really the skin of the bread fruit. This bread fruit, well, well roast. See, it's, it's even start to break up on me. So that's a good sign that you roasted it well. Yes, it's roast. Okay. Let me try to move these things. Let's put those in the garbage and move on to slicing this bad boy up and frying. Okay. I'm gonna test my cargo right now. Okay. You hear it? Look at that. Just like you said, it shrunk. But it's getting juicier and juicier by the second. And you know, if, this can be nice if you put a little bit of coconut milk in it. Mm. Just to steam it down. Mm -hmm. Instead of water. You guys already know how Daddy feels about his coconut milk. So instead of water. Yeah, he use the coconut milk. Mm. Not too much. Just like how you had poured in the little bit of water to steam, you would put the <laughs> coconut milk instead? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna test it. You're gonna test it now because you never put any salt in it, you know? No, no. She never put any salt. Because you know we don't play with that sodium in this house. I have to cool it down because it's hot. Yeah. yeah. We know, Daddy. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> what? 
It needs salt. We know when it needs salt. Mm -mm. I can see it in his eyes. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's, okay, it's perfect then. Yeah. Okay. Let me test. I will be the judge. Oh, that's a little. Because I'm also filming, okay? So I don't want to, like, you know. Let me be the judge. You ready, Ken? Oh, you know, it's just blowing. Oh. Real ones just puff, puff, puff. I eat it. And it's ready. Mm -mm. It is ready. So mm -hmm. I turn, I turn it off. How is it? Very nice. So this color you can eat it with bread, adobo bread, mm -hmm. fried dumpling, mm -hmm. breadfruit. Breadfruit? Like what how is? we're gonna have it? What is? Planting. Did I say dumpling already? Yeah, it's a fried dumpling. Planting. Mm -hmm. Fried planting. You don't even have to have it with fried dumpling. You can have it with boiled dumpling too. You can have it with rice. You can have it with all of the above. You can have it with dumpling and banana and yam. You can have it with plantain. I'm gonna fry this planting. Okay, so let's 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 fry up a little breadfruit and move forward. Yeah, Look at this. I don't even cut it with my knife. I'm just hoping just for me. Look at that. Wow. This is amazing. Just open right for you. Yes. It's okay. This is the heart of the breadfruit. You want to get this out? So you're getting the core out. Yes. Like, I'm happy that this tastes good because this thing gives me the heebie-jeebies. I'm not going to lie to you. What do you mean? What you you the, you give, yeah, I know, Daddy. You see the beauty in it. And it, I, it is beautiful. Crawl, it? But it definitely makes my skin crawl. I'm trying not to watch it. we we'll watch it too hard. <laughs> yeah, I eat it, though. Definitely going to eat it. When it fry up, it don't look so. This is the best. Daddy, you're handling it so delicately. Yeah, because it's soft. I don't want to break up on me. Okay. So, so all of that goes into the garbage. garbage. Okay. But okay. these... I'm going to slice. No. Over here, I have my pan. Oil to high. High? Yeah. Oil in the pot? Oil in the pot. What kind of oil? I'm using grapeseed oil. Grapeseed, because we act in bougie today. Well, what can they usually use? If they don't have grapeseed oil... You can use any oil you want. Any oil, except yeah. for extra virgin olive mm -hmm. oil, because you can't fry with that, right? Yeah, because it's easy to burn. That's very easy to burn. Yeah. Okay. All right, so today we're doing grapeseed, but you can use whatever oil you want to use, you guys. We're warming up on what, high? Yes. Okay, and then you're going to slice, slice these bad boys up. Just like so. Mm -hmm. Sticking Very to my knife. Very careful. Very careful. The reason why I do this because it's soft. If I hold it in my hand, it's gonna break up while I'm slicing it. Okay. Okay, so I just take your time. Use this instead. I use the board. If you want this to be more nicer, you can put a little seasoning on it. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know people season breadfruit. You don't have to. But it's an option if you want yeah, it. it's up to you. If you were going to season it, what would you season it with? All purpose seasoning. Interesting. See what I'm talking about? So soft. Yeah. Well cooked. Especially if your breadfruit is is um off right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh gosh. When it's 
my food is half ripe and you roast it. Perfect. <sighs> so good. Okay. It's, it's giving mukbang channel. Mm. For me. <laughs> For me. It's giving mukbang. For me. So, this one is hot. Okay. Let's do this. Not that hot. Oh yeah, it's hot. It's hot. It's just a sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. This is back from dinner than a year ago. Oh, because it's not wet. It's moist. It's a silent guy. A silent one. Okay, so. I'm turning it. Turning them. See that? Approximately how long on each side? Normally. Mm. I guess it'll differ from two, everybody's two, pot. Three to know. four minutes. So three to four minutes. Yeah. Okay. Look how delicious. Look at how delicious this looks, guys. If you've never tasted bread food before, I bet you can only imagine how delicious this is right now. Just by how it looks crispy and nice. And that'll be the outsides, but the insides will be nice and full. Yeah. And then you dip it into your Kalaloo gravy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm not ready yet, Daddy. I'm not ready yet. Mark, you ready? ready. Mark, them bomb ready. Mm. I'm stubborn that one. I'm going to turn the fire down. To medium. Turn it down to medium now? Yeah. What made you decide that? Very hot. Yeah, see. <laughs> <laughs> Mark said you can look at it and see. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah if you see. Uh -huh. Look at that. Let's see again. Ooh, cha. Things are gonna get easier. Easy, yeah. <laughs> All right. Wait. Mr. Huh. said, Daddy, I share out them plates. Guys, Daddy, you share out your plate already? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's love, guys. Let's, let's, let's really sit down and eat.